In the A7III, the A7R3 and the A7R4, there's a function called ISO Auto Minimum Shutter Speed. And if you take photographs in Auto ISO mode, this can really help get better, sharper photos. It only works in aperture priority and program mode when the ISO is set to auto and it will let you set a minimum shutter speed that the camera will go to before starting to increase the ISO. What the camera will tend to do is drop the shutter speed in aperture priority mode. As it gets darker, it will keep dropping the shutter speed, but say if you're shooting handheld, you don't want to start getting blurry shots from the motion of your hands, so this could pose a problem. Now what Sony have done is given us this setting called ISO Auto Minimum Shutter Speed. If you go into it, it will give you a shutter speed option from 1 8,000th of a second to 30 seconds. It also has an SS Faster option, which I'll talk about in a minute. So let's say you wanted to keep the shutter speed from dropping below 1 60th of a second. You'd set it to ISO ASS60. This would then take photos as normal with the minimum ISO until the shutter speed dropped to 1 60th of a second. Once it got to this, the shutter speed would stay at 1 60th of a second. And then if it keeps getting darker, the ISO would start to increase from this point. And the beauty of this setting is you can set your shutter speed to whatever you want. Say if I'm shooting with a 24 mm lens handheld, I might set this to 1 30th of a second following the shutter speed focal length rule. Then I wouldn't have to worry about that shutter speed dropping below 1 30th of a second. It would go faster if there's more light about, but it would never go slower than 1 30th of a second. Another setting that affects this is the minimum and maximum ISO levels that you can set within ISO. When you set ISO to auto, you get these two numbers to the right, ISO auto minimum and ISO auto maximum. These are just the parameters you can set so you can stop the ISO going too low or going too high. I normally have these on 100 as the minimum and 8000 as the maximum, but you can set them to exactly what you want. As for the other setting in auto ISO minimum SS, the SS faster, what this will do is try and shoot with the fastest shutter speed possible. So it's almost the opposite. So this is where your maximum ISO levels really are important. So what this setting tends to do is ramp up your ISO early to keep that shutter speed fast. If you don't want this, all you do is set it to the minimum shutter speed that you can cope with before you start getting movement if you're shooting handheld or the minimum setting that you want then it will never drop the shutter speed below this. Now, if you want to learn how to come out of the auto setting in your camera, click on this next video here. If you want to learn about ISO, click on this video down here. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications for weekly tutorials in photography. And I'll see you next time.